Welcome back, YouTubers and supporters. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy content. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and be sure to like the video, share the video, and turn on notifications if these videos have been very helpful for you guys. Anyways, let's get straight to the video. Thank you so much to Joy Auto in contacting me and providing me this really cool product to showcase how to install it and how to use it. And this product is basically the Audi A3 wireless Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto radio add-on. And it's basically this little unit. You're gonna remove the glove box of the car. This WJAU-2 comes with this unit right here, a little antenna for Wi-Fi, it comes with a USB plug right here. I even also got attachment for the Android Auto mirroring, the Android phone mirroring. It also comes with this harness right here, which I have attached to the power harness right here and the power harness gets connected to the unit. This package right here is the GPS WJAN-4 package. It's basically the GPS antenna with a little dongle right here. You plug it into the fuse box and you ground it right there. I'm not entirely sure if this is compatible with my car because they told me it's not compatible, but let's install it anyways and see if we can get it to work. The first step is to get your ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket and disconnect the battery under the hood. Next step is to go into the passenger side and remove all the bolts holding in the glove box, starting off with the one down here. And they're all eight millimeter or 516 bolts. You got another one right here. You're gonna open up here and disconnect one, two, three. So you got five of them to take out total. The next step is to remove the side cover right here with your trim tools, pop out this cover, and then you're gonna remove that eight millimeter or 516 bolt out. And inside the glove box, you have to remove that eight millimeter or 516 bolt out. Remember, I will be providing all the buying links for these tools in the description below. The dual equal trim set has everything you need. And this is the key that I will be using to remove the multimedia interface from the Audi in the glove box. So you're gonna stick the key in here. I'm just gonna visually show you. You see that little tab right here on the side? You see that? You heard that click? Once you get it out, you're gonna pull on each side. gonna pull until this whole unit comes off and then you're gonna be removing that screw in the back once you get the 8 millimeter or 516 bolt out you're supposed to remove all the cables but I already removed all the cables and I reattached them so I could show you visually what you need to do push this tab in and then you're gonna pull out you're gonna pull this tab out just like that and pull the connector out, push this tab in, and pull out, and then with the last one, you're gonna press down and pull out. And there you go. For starters, we're gonna grab the LCD in, which is this pink slash purple cable, which is the LVDS input cable. Plug that into the back of the unit right here. Once we have that plugged in, we can then grab the output LCD, which is the LVDS output cable. That gray looking connector gets plugged in to the cable inside the car. And then after that, we can then plug in the power cable from the unit, connect the cables all the way to the secondary aftermarket harness, plug in the aftermarket harness in here, and then we're gonna grab the original plug from the car and put into the aftermarket harness. And then we're gonna grab the aux from this harness and route that cable all the way to this 3.5 millimeter aux cable right here. So you could get the audio from 
this unit to play in the car speakers and then we can mask this off with heat shrink so that the connections don't get loose and we don't need the rear view camera nor the dashboard the dash cam so we could cap that off grab the usb and fish the usb either to the center console or leave it inside the dashboard we're gonna get the microphone and we're gonna fish the microphone to the side column right here and then we're gonna fish it inside the headliner and have it pop out we'll have it in that little microphone home right there since that one's not in use this one on the other side the left one is being used by the car and once we know where each cable goes we're going to disconnect the unit reinstall the glove box fish these cables to the holes inside the glove box reattach the unit and have this unit zip tied and locked in place on the top right there We are done now we have zip tied the unit to the box right here we have made a little cut right here on this light to feed the usb cable in the glove box right there we have the wi-fi antenna attached we have zip tied the cables and did a little bit of cable management and now we can begin fishing the microphone to install the gps we're gonna pop this cover out go and we're gonna plug this into the fuse box and then we're gonna ground it to one of the nuts on the side right here and now to remove the cover you're gonna use the prying tools to pop out the cover right here in the center dome lights to install the last item which is the microphone I fished the microphone from all the way behind the headliner to the center column right there and inside from the glove box so let's start up the car First, you might get the radio. Jay Z is crazy. At first, you might get the original Audi MI screen, and a couple seconds later, the aftermarket screen pops up. Joy Auto, well, there it is. Automatically did it. Let's see if we can probably move this off to the side. All right. Now, in order to click that, you're gonna press the center console knob. You're gonna click it again, and that's it. To go back to the original Audi MMI, you're going to hold the back button right here in the center console. You're going to go into medium. Give it a second now. You're going to go to the source and you're going to make sure the aux is selected so you can play audio from the radio. Now to get back to it, you can hold the back button down. And now we can proceed to use the Android Auto for example. This is basically the subsystem within the OS of the aftermarket radio. If you want to go to the main OS, you click the back button on your MMI center console and then these are the options you'll get. You'll get the CarPlay, which is for the iPhone. When you click CarPlay, you should be able to display your iPhone mirroring. I'll show you that in a second. So let's go back and activate the wireless Android Auto. But before we get into the wireless Android Auto, this attachment right here that we added inside the glove box, this is for the iPhone mirroring. So we have an iPhone and an Android to test this out. So now let's go into my phone. Let's turn it on. And let's connect to A3, which is the name that I gave it, the system right here. So if you go into setup, you scroll all the way to Bluetooth. I was able to name it A3, as you can tell right there. 
You could also change a couple of the things like the master volume. You could change the equalizer to make it sound better. Do not check loudness. Make sure that it is off because you will get some static in the sound. You could change display. So since I'm already connected to it prior, we're gonna connect to my Samsung S10e. We're gonna click on it. And it's gonna load up the Android Auto. Any second now, it's gonna load up with Google Maps at first. So I'm gonna block out the address and let's use the scroll to navigate. So it's a bit tricky at first to use this because this isn't touchscreen, unfortunately. Although the radio does come with the touchscreen capability, the Audi MMI does not. So you have all these applications to work with on the Android Auto. And if we click exit, it's gonna take us to the main OS. Now that we have wireless, Android Auto on this phone Nothing plugged in we can then proceed to do the Apple CarPlay with an iPhone This is the main home screen of the Apple CarPlay. I'm not too familiar with it But you get a maps application you get a phone cast USB So if you click on this USB you can attach a USB drive to where This USB port is right here on this box and you could play movies, you could play mp3 formats and whatnot. And this box actually comes with its own separate Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection apart from what you get with the radio right here. And this is its own Bluetooth connection. So if you look right here, the text says Sprite Pro 105. So I'm going to go into the iPhone, I'm going to connect to it. That's mostly just for Bluetooth calling. So if you go into Bluetooth, you will see the name at the bottom right here. Sprite Pro, that's just to, just to do audio calls on the CarPlay. It's connected. Our phone is now Bluetooth connected onto the CarPlay system and we can do calls only. Car is basically the home OS of the aftermarket radio. We can do cleanup to clean the RAM to make it run faster. And you get some built-in applications like YouTube, Google Assistant, Netflix, and video VLC player. And I believe it won't work because I would have to update the applications and be connected to Wi-Fi. The next step is to go to your personal hotspot and make the password 12345678. The phone hotspot will show up on the radio and then you can connect to the hotspot and it'll take you to the Apple CarPlay. Unfortunately, I don't have a SIM card, so let's change it up quickly with another iPhone. Now once the Wi-Fi hotspot is active and we have the password connected, you should see a new Wi-Fi connection. This Wi-Fi connection is created off your device right here. If this is iPhone, it will be created from here I believe. And if it is from Android, it will be created from the unit we installed inside the glove box. And do not disconnect out of that because that's how you get to the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto Wi-Fi connection. It doesn't seem like it's working for me wirelessly. Let's go back into setup. Bluetooth is completely fine. Let's go to smartphone. iOS mirrors another application. If you click on it, you go back. It's not selected anymore. You go back to setup. Click smartphone. You can change the application back to CarPlay. And here is CarPlay. For some reason that actually worked. <laughs> now I have CarPlay showing on the phone and it is active. I mean that was a bit weird, a weird glitch but we have it working right now. We can go to the applications. Hala, there we go. I wonder what Audi MMI is. Okay, so now it's working for some reason. Play some music. Let's see what we got here. Let's play something quick. Yep. And basically that's it everybody. Remember you can always disconnect the Apple CarPlay dongle right here and you can run a wireless Android Auto only. 
but this right here is what gives you the Apple CarPlay. You're also free to connect any USB device, even your Android device to charge it, even though this dongle is just for Apple CarPlay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy content later on. And we out of here.